Dawa Abebe was born and raised in Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia. His passion for art started at a young age. He studied painting, sculpture, graphics, photography, and industrial design from Ali School of Fine Arts and Design at Addis Ababa University. After graduating, he began his career in local galleries in Ethiopia. Through social media, his art was noticed and began to be requested by galleries around the globe. He has had exhibitions in London, Paris, Dubai, Tanzania, Nairobi, and New York. A large body of his work is part of the permanent collection at Saatchi Art Gallery of London. Though his work is known and exhibited around the globe, he continues to work from Habesha Art Studio, which he founded in 2001 with four other contemporary Ethiopian artists. When Jeanne Brownell, a reporter from the New York Times, visited him at his studio, she was impressed by how little artwork was actually stored there. She came across one large canvas, splattered with paint, and asked Dawa about the meaning behind the piece. Mr. Bebe laughed and explained that was the canvas he used to clean his brushes with. Although this canvas held no special meaning for him, his work typically does reflect many of the social issues applicable not only to Ethi Ethiopians, but to all of us. Dawit commonly paints figurative paintings that portray human behavior, the way technology impacts us, and the way we impact the world around us. His paint is always laid on very heavy with chunks of color. To show a few examples, in his series, Limonol, he shows us the way he believes social media has crept its way into how we regularly socialize. While his series, Quo Vadis, is about saving Mother Earth and shows the human impact on the environment. The exhibition Background Number 2 was made of backward portraits. Abebe has also chosen different age groups for his subjects, putting the accent on the older generation. There were 18 canvases on display in which depicted subjects were man only and taken from the back. Dawa Abebe said, from the back, because in our culture it means they are looking at the past. In recent years, Africa has seen big developments. I feel that the coming of technology has seen a rapid transformation in Ethiopia. The younger people know less of our own history and are more involved with pop culture and social media. In Dawa Abebe's observations of humankind, strange figures turn away from the world as silent witnesses. Their affliction and sad surroundings suggest they are bodies in exile or the subjects of an unknown trauma. Together they make up the foreground of Abebe's narrative drawings in which proportions become distorted through reimaginings of another reality. In his more recent years, he has painted male figures that have their backs to the viewer, creating a visual of total isolation, with only a few objects to represent what the figure's backstory may be. Often they are also depicted with a small white rectangle that has a series of numbers on it, which also acts as a clue to represent who they are. Though it believes that numbers have also become a big part of our lives, and he believes that it is, it is an important part of the painting. All his work was made to create lots of suspense and dialogue to have the viewer think about the message that he has left for them.